Have you ever wondered why do the numbers look the way they do? What is the meaning behind their shapes? And what do they mean to you? It's been used for counting and measuring for as long as we can remember. What do the numbers have to tell us about the cycles of our solar system? Are the number glyphs coded with multiple esoteric messages? Decoding numbers for all levels of understanding. After the mighty Roman Empire fell, the Moors of Africa invaded and civilized most of Western Europe. This happened around 711 AD. And when they went into Europe, they brought a wealth of knowledge with them, including math, the sciences, astrology, numerology, and the current numerical system that we use today. If you go on YouTube or Google, uh, there's people putting out information uh, trying to explain this. Pretty much what they're saying is, the reason two looks the way it is, is because it represents two angles. The reason three looks the way it is because it represents three angles. But then when you get to like number nine, they try to force the issue and say that nine is supposed to look like that because you can count nine angles, but no one writes nine like that. That's not a natural way to write nine. Say that, that system came from the original uh, Arabic system that came from uh, Africa into Europe. I'm going to explain why the numbers look the way they do, as the way they do. I'm not going to alter them to try to explain my own theory. You have a lot of religions and belief systems, organizations that put their own meanings behind the numbers. But no one will say, okay, this is two because. But they would just say, the meaning of two is so on and so forth, but they won't say why two looks the way it does. This information I didn't even get from no one else. Um, I only researched this after the fact. And that's when I started researching it. And in my research, I, I realized that no one has uh, fully explained the meaning of the numbers in terms of their shapes. We're gonna start with the first one, the first one, the number one. Right? That's number one. This is probably the easiest to explain because everybody could relate to the number one. This is what you start with. It's the first unit, right? Uh, numero uno. It's, it's the first unit you use in terms of counting or it's the first thing you start when you have nothing. If you're alone by yourself in a room, that's one, right? You know, there's a start point, a middle, and, and the plane. Now we're gonna get into this plane part right here. This middle ground, we're gonna find out that in the universe, there is no bottom, right? There, there is only a, 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 a equilibrium. There's only a, a middle ground. There's something under it, there's something above it, but this is the middle ground. In, in terms of other sciences and other things, you know, you, you, you can associate it with uh, 1 a.m. 1 a.m. is really when we start time, correct? We don't start it at 1 p.m. If you look at 1 a.m. and break it down, what does it look like to you? A.m. It starts with you, right? Number one. Remember, if it's representing you, you're standing on the ground, Earth, right? Mm -hmm. And if number one represents 1 a.m., think about it, what does two represent? This is key right here. This is key. 2 a.m. Right. Okay. Now at 2 a.m., if you look up to the horizon, nine times out of 10, what are you gonna see? You're gonna see the moon. You're gonna see the moon, right? Now this curvature shape right here Wait. Is, is, is indicating that it's part of this earth, or it's pulling from the earth, or it's, it's uh, getting its energy from the earth, right? You see the moon, but it's a half moon, right? It's a moon, but it's not full strength. It's almost half moon. It's a quarter moon. The way it's spelled, two, T-W, 
you get twin, twin, twilight, twilight, what would twilight mean? It means second, light. You know, we associate moon with twilight, the second light. It's the second light because the primary light is what? Sun. It's the sun. If the moon is two and the, and, and the moon is half strength above ground, where would the sun be? If the, if the moon is right above us, where would the sun be? Above it. Oh. Yeah. The moon and the sun. It's three. It's three. Right? You got, the, you got the moon right here. Gotcha. And you got the sun down here. Gotcha. Now, why would that be the sun? Because obviously, the moon is above your head at nighttime. The sun is on the other side of the earth. Of course. And that represents three. Of course. Well, three represents you, the moon, and the sun. Got it. Really, the way you're supposed to read the numbers are the way they are meant. So it's oh. sideways. Okay. Oh. Why? Because once two comes into play, two is pretty much coming over the horizon. Right. So we know that three represents the moon and the sun. Now let's look at number four. Right? What does four look like? Four looks to me like a cross. The cross is an old symbol for the earth. Yeah. Which is pretty much just establishing the north, south, east, south, east and the compass. west. That's yeah. all it's telling you. Yeah. And the number four is an indicator of that. Yeah. Once we got to number three, we established the top, we established the bottom. Number four is now establishing your, your east and your west. So you can superimpose the number three right over the four. It can, it can make sense. It's telling you that right now you got the, the moon on top the sun in the bottom, and, and you got the west over here, east, so forth and so on. So, we established from number one, you, two, the moon, three, the sun. Uh, four is establishing your earth, your cardinal points. So if you superimpose five over number four, yeah, there you go. the sun is still in the bottom. Mm -hmm. But it's not in full strength, because you don't have a whole circle. Right. It's telling you it's not in full strength. Right? That line is telling you that it belongs right there. Bottom. And with the two, the baseline. Bottom. Yeah. Those are indicators that tell you this these lines are equilibrium lines, the middle points. So let's move on to number six. Know what we know already. We established where the moon and the sun is at. We established our, our uh, cardinal points. Six. It's telling me something. First time, the, the, the full circle is established. The sun is starting to gain strength. It's moving into this, this position. Okay. And you have this line here, <coughs> pretty much telling you the trajectory of where the sun is going to end up at. I got you. I got you. Right? So number six, going by the shape, it's telling you that, hey, I'm, I'm moving. I'm, I'm in motion right now. Going to one of my favorite numbers, and I'm sure uh, this number is prepared seven. by a lot of people for a reason. Why is the number seven held so much in regard by a lot of people in terms of different walks of life? Well, because it's telling you it's time to rise up, it's section, it's time to move from the bottom up to the top. Boom. That's my symbol, man. That's, that's why the number seven is such a powerful. That's, that's the sun, moon, and star symbol. It's telling you that the sun is, is, is taking its right place on top. Thank you, brother. I don't think you will find anybody out there on this earth 
they will tell you something bad about the number seven. And this is the reason why. It's telling you that it's going, that the sun is coming from the bottom and it's moving up. The number seven itself looks like an arrow. That's pointing up. The number means yeah, ascending. Yeah. It means like it's going up. It's, it's True. moving from the bottom, going up. True. A new self, almost. The sun is going through a, a, a phase of uh, change. The sun is no longer in the bottom. The sun is on top. So this is why earlier we said we started with the moon on top. Right. The, sun, the sun has to go through its natural process. Right. You just say you just say the, the sun moved up to the top. The sun is on top, which means what's on the bottom? The moon. The moon. It switched places. The moon was on top. Now the, now the sun is on top. If you relay this to a yearly cycle, this is the time we're in right now. Number eight can relate to uh, uh, this, this, between the spring and the uh, the summer seasons. Okay. Okay. Like now. Like right now. Yeah. Um, a week ago, if you look at up in the stars like the way I do, you would notice around seven o'clock, you'll see. The sun on one side of the, of yeah. the sky and mm -hmm. the moon on the other side of the sky. Yeah. You'll see both the sun and the moon at full power. Yeah. 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 This is indication number eight. This is the reason why you don't have the half as you do in the twos and the fives. Mm -hmm. You have the whole because they're in full. It's almost like they're in pull, opposing each other. Right, right, right. The Face sun is off. phasing off. The, full, the sun is in full strength and the moon is in full strength. Right, right, right. We're in Gemini right now. That's me. Right? What's the first day of Gemini? I am May 21st, right? Shit, I almost forgot. Five. Yeah. That's who we want. Now. Add those numbers up, what do you get? Eight, right? There you go. Conflict. Duality. And what is, what is the sign of Gemini? Twins. Yeah. Yeah, duality. This is all fitting with each other. It's not like uh That's the astrology part of it, so yeah. The astrology part. Yeah. Alright, so let's let's move to number nine now. Now moving to number nine. Nine can obviously mean that whatever battle was going on in number eight. Somebody won. The sun, sun. reigns supreme. Yeah, the sun. The sun reigns supreme over the moon. The moon descending. The moon descending. Right. So yeah, you have a lot of admiration over the number seven. But naturality, the nine is born. The nine is divine. Yes, sir. Because seven showing you that I rose above, but number nine saying that I, I defeated my foes and I'm standing alone. Born to be born. You can see the easy transition from the number nine. You have that that figure right there, which still represents you. Next number being ten is all it's telling you that. The sun is now moving across you. So you have you and the sun. So you have the sun rays supreme and ten representing you and the sun. That's the completion. The completion. 